Rijeka, Fiume. The very name of the city recalls a flow, a movement. It means river, both in Croatian and Italian. Rijeka tells an emblematic history of movement and migrations in border regions. During the entire 20th century, border changes as well as political events triggered voluntary and involuntary population movements. One of the places that are most representative of past migrations is the former Hotel Emigranti, a facility built at the beginning of the 20th century, when the city was part of Austria-Hungary, to accommodate the thousands of emigrants who reached Rijeka and its port from different areas of the empire to embark on one of the several ships to New York and other transatlantic destinations. Yet, the city's landscape also shows traces of the departure and flights that started after the Second World War and Rijeka's annexation to Socialist Yugoslavia. One is the commemorative plaque placed just a few years ago over the house of Rijeka-born writer Marisa Madieri. She left the city in 1949, together with her family, and recalled in her writings what has become known as the exodus of most of the city's Italian population in those years. Places also tell the stories of more recent migrations, of those who've moved to Rijeka in the past decades. One of the most representative is the building that houses the Islamic community of Rijeka, a mosque designed by famed sculptor Dushan Jamonia and inaugurated in 2013. While Muslims have been present in Rijeka at least since the 19th century, the origins of the present-day community are mainly found in migrations from Bosnia-Herzegovina and Kosovo since the 1960s, enriched by a large wave of refugees as a result of the war in the 1990s. Many other places tell the stories of people leaving or moving to the city, highlighting its role as a crossroad. Find more on People on the Move tour on the app Rijeka Fiume Influx.